uh, Mike Lawler. He is a Republican from the state of New York who was at Columbia, Columbia University earlier today and is one of the lawmakers who was calling on the Columbia University president to resign. Congressman, thanks for being back here on the Hill. Appreciate it. First off, why did you feel the need to go and why have uh, the Republican delegation from New York, why have you all decided to ask the uh, Columbia University president to resign? Well, when you look at the terrorist attack of October 7th, it was rooted in one thing. Uh, in Gaza, they are taught to hate Jews uh, and to want to kill Jews. Uh, and what we're seeing on campuses all across America, but especially here at Columbia University, uh, we are seeing anti-Semitism rear its ugly head. And these institutions have allowed it to happen. If this was a racist protest, if this was a protest against gay people, if this was a protest against immigrants, you would see the institution crack down on it very, very quickly, and rightfully so. But what you're seeing when it comes to Jewish students is that the institutions of higher education have allowed this to permeate from one end of the building to the next. And we have to crack down on it. So I was proud to be there today along with my colleague Anthony D'Esposito of New York to stand up and say enough is enough. I've introduced two pieces of legislation, the Stop Anti-Semitism on College Campuses Act, which would defund institutions like Columbia, including student aid, uh, for promoting and sanctioning anti-Semitic events like this, uh, as well as the Anti-Semitism Awareness Act, which would require the Department of Education to adopt the IRA working definition of anti-Semitism and all Here. of its contemporary examples for its enforcement cases. Here's some other, here's some other examples, uh, Congressman. Katie Britt, Republican senator, she says, quote, this shouldn't be complicated. One, deport any non-citizen in the U.S. who supports Hamas. Two, defund any educational institution that authorizes, facilitates, or otherwise supports these pro-terrorist activities. Marsha Blackburn, another senator, Republican, quote, any student on a visa that is arrested for supporting Hamas needs to be deported immediately. Are they on to something, or does that, any of that go too far? No, they're 100% right. And I believe these institutions should expel the students that have engaged in violence of any kind uh, or anti-Semitic uh, threats targeting Jewish students. Uh, it's one thing to protest. It's one thing to voice your uh, disagreement with policies by the United States or Israel. It's a whole other thing to call for the eradication of the Jewish people. And there needs to be consequences. Uh, I mean, look at one of my colleagues, Ilhan Omar, her daughter now claiming, oh, I didn't realize I'd be homeless and without food uh, because I got expelled. Uh, I mean, there are consequences to actions. And that's what some of these folks don't seem to understand. You can't call for the eradication of Jews and think everything is going to be just OK because you're entitled to free speech. You're not okay. entitled to make threats against people. And that's why the president of Colombia needs to resign immediately. She has failed in her obligation, her primary responsibility, to ensure the safety and the well-being of students on that campus. Right. Congressman, I know you, got, you have a hard out here, so we'll have to leave it there. Congressman Lawler, though, who was down at Columbia today, joining us live here on the Hill. Thank you, sir. Thank you for watching. And make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.